hello guys welcome to the dms online school in today's video i want us to look at um, these questions that are coming from um, mathematics paper one okay these are some of the simplest questions that come under mathematics paper one and uh, you cannot afford getting these ones wrong because they come as uh, simply warm-up or rather free marks and therefore you need to understand how to solve them and therefore i encourage you to watch this video up to the end and then give it a like and let me know also in the comment section if this lesson is going to be helpful to you so without further ado let's go straight into this lesson all right so we have a question which is a mathematics paper one questions right so number one says evaluate uh, open brackets negative one two or close brackets to the power zero times two to the power three. Okay, let's go straight into the solution. Okay. So we are told to evaluate open brackets negative one to the power zero times uh, two to the power three. Now, the first thing that should come in your mind or for you to be able to answer a particular question either in mathematics, chemistry, or in any other uh, uh, exam paper is understanding the question. When they say evaluate, what do they mean in mathematics or any other uh, question that um, can be asked in an exam? To evaluate, it is just to find the value. You see, there's value in it here, value. So it comes from finding the value. So when they say evaluate, it means they want to find the value, which in this case means the actual number. Okay. So like, let's find the actual number of this. So again, you need to know which topic this question is coming from. This one is coming from a topic which is indices. Therefore, you need to apply the laws of indices in answering these questions. So this implies that Anything raised to the power zero according to the indices is equal to one. So meaning negative one raised to power zero is actually one. Okay. Then I'll we'll put times. Then two to power three means two multiplied by itself three times. Okay. So let me explain this one. Anything raised to power zero is equal to one. If you have 100, 10 to the power 0, it is still 1. If you have 100 to power 0, it is still 1. Because anything that is raised to power 0, according to the laws of indices, that is 1. So this one, open brackets, negative 1 plus brackets to the power 0 is equal to 1. So where this, this part will put 1 and then times, then 2 to power 3, means multiply 2 by itself. So 2 to power 3, it means you multiply 2 by itself 3 times, like 2 multiplied by itself 3 times like that. Okay? That's what this means. So here you can simply do 2 times 2 times 2. Okay? So doing that will actually show the examiner that you know what you're doing. Okay? So once you do that, then you say now, this implies that you can even say, okay, one, if you want, and then you say two times two times two, which will give you eight. Because two times two, like two times two will be four, okay? Then it's two times what? Two. Then two times two now will be eight, okay? So that is that. So here it will give you eight. One times eight, it will give you what? Eight. So this will be your answer. So just as I said, you have seen, there are few steps involved in answering this question. So it is a free mark which you don't need to afford to lose in an exam. Okay. So let's answer the other one. So the second one says we solve. The second one we are solving, this one which is open brackets, 
x minus 1 cross tangent to x plus 5 is equal to 0. So again, here they're saying solve. So whenever you find a question saying solve, it is just asking you to find the value of the variable. So they, when they say solve the equation, this is an equation, they want you to find the value of the variable. What is a variable? A, var a variable is any letter in an equation, like we have a letter x here, okay? So they want you to tell the value of x in this equation, and an equation actually is an algebraic expression with an equal sign. So this has an equal sign in it, so it is an equation. So they want to find the value of x. So now, how do we do this? Now notice here we have this expression in brackets being multiplied with another expression in brackets, okay? So if you multiply, this means if we are multiplying this expression in brackets with another expression in brackets and we are getting zero, it means that if we understand mathematics from way back as grade one, if I have one times zero, what would be my answer? Zero, okay? Or if I say zero times one, what would be the answer? Zero. So anything multiplied by zero, the answer is a zero. So here, since we are multiplying this expression with this expression and we are getting a zero, it means either this one is a zero, that's why we are getting a zero here, or this one is a zero multiplied by this, that's why we are getting a zero there, okay? You have to understand this. So what we are going to do here is to now say, okay, it means either we'll put it in this way. So say for this one, let me put it in this. This means either x minus one, it is the one that is equal to zero, or you say two x minus plus five, it is the one which is equal to zero. So in that case, that's how you get this one. Because for us to get a zero, it is this, either this guy is the one which is actually zero here, or this guy, it is the one which is zero. Now we go ahead and say, okay, this implies that um, we can have x, um, we can actually remove the brackets if we want. Let's just remove the brackets here, like that. Yeah, now from there now, we will need to solve for x here. We need to know x. So for us to solve for x, we ensure that x remains as a singly variable on the left side of the equal sign. So like, what do I mean a singly variable? x has to remain alone on this side of the equal sign, and then any other number must go on the right side of the equation. So here we remain with x. Okay, let me just put it here. So say x is equal to zero. Then this one is a number must cross and come where zero is. Okay, so when negative one crosses, since it is negative, when it crosses, it becomes positive like that. Okay, then you continue and say all. Oh, then here you also say the same. This a term with x must remain on the other side, on the left side. So say 2x is equal to 0. Then this one 5, when it crosses, since it is positive, it becomes negative 5. Then from there you say, okay, this implies that x is equal to 1. 0 plus 1, it is actually 1. Okay. Or you say, or oh, you send 2x is equal to 0 minus 5, it will be negative 5. 
Now, here we have already found the variable for x. It is either 1 here, then here we need also to remain with x the way we have remained with only x. So how do we do it? We always divide by 2 to get rid of the 2. Also, we do the same here so that 2 into 2 goes to remain with x is equal to 2 into 5. 2 into negative 5, it will go there 2 times, then a remainder 1, then over 2 like that. Then we conclude that in, therefore x is either 1 here or x is equal to this one here, negative 2, then 2, or then 1 over like that. So this one or this one. So that is how we solve such equations like that. I hope this is making very much sense to you and if it is, please remember to give this video a like and let me know also in the comment section. Okay, so now let's go for the second one. The third one, the third one is saying we simplify. So let me write three. We are simplifying four x to power two plus two y squared minus x y plus x x squared plus 2x y. Now, let me explain to you. The term simplify means make it simple. You have been given something which is a little bit complex then you make it simple or you reduce it. So when they say simplify this, they want you to make it look simple. As it is to them, it is actually a bit complex. So usually with simplification, whenever we are simplifying, we usually encounter algebraic expression. So this is an algebraic expression because it doesn't have an equal sign. If it had an equal sign like maybe equals to 4 or maybe equals to 0, like that, then it was going to be an equation. Now, since it doesn't have that, it is an algebraic expression. And usually when you are simplifying algebraic expression, you collect like terms together and then you add them or maybe you subtract like terms together or you multiply like terms together or you even divide but in this case we have addition subtraction addition and addition so we are going to collect like terms together where we we'll do the addition so say so, okay this implies that we we'll look at the like terms so we'll see that this one is likened to that so we we'll put them together so we we'll write four okay so this is four x squared then this one six x squared it has a plus here so we'll move with a plus here plus six x squared then we we'll look also for other terms that are similar like this is a term it is similar to this so Pick this one which is which has a negative, so it will have negative x uh, y then plus this one has a plus then plus two x y. Then what are we remaining with? We are remaining with this one which doesn't have anything. So this one has a plus, we'll put it at the end like it two y squared. Then after that, we will now do the addition. So this 4x squared plus 6x squared must be added because there are like terms. We have x squared, x squared. So here you can just say, 
this one how we can add them if they are giving you a problem just add 6 plus 4 which will be add 4 plus 6 which will be 10 then you get this one put it there squared okay 4 plus 6 plus 6 which is 10 6 this is common add it there then here you have uh, negative x y plus 2xy so if the order in which is giving you problem rewrite it start with 2x y then write the minus then write the x y so when you look at that you realize that um you are subtracting 2x y minus x which can simply also mean this you have a 2 uh, x y then minus here there is a coefficient of 1 which we don't indicate I'm indicating it so that you understand then you write x y so here you can even say like 2 minus 1 which will be just 1 then this since these are common then you write them x y but then you realize that 1 is never written so you just indicate x y so here so this is positive even if I've not added anything. So since it is positive, you say positive, no? then x, y. So this one has given us x, y. Then this one and this one. Then this one, you say plus 2, y squared. So now when you look at them, this, you cannot simplify it. Further. okay you cannot simplify it further and because this is not a like term to this and the, that so these are different terms altogether they are not likened to each other or they are not similar to each other therefore this one becomes your I know answer so all in all you see so simple so mathematics is a very very simple subject to pass provided that you are following the concepts which are laid out in mathematics once you master those concepts and then you apply them during answering you will discover that mathematics is very easy to pass thank you very much for watching for now bye and see you in the next video peace